Hi guys, welcome to the Everyday in Brooklyn YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea, and I wanted to film a video today for you guys because we are going out of town on a trip. By the time this goes up, we'll be home. Um, but we are going to Boston for the weekend to watch my nephew um, play hockey. So I wanted to show you what I pack and why I pack it. So if you like these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you are just interested to see what we pack, check it out. This is what my almost three-year-old is bringing. Swim shorts, four undies, four socks. And I did pick these like fuzzy socks so they could wear them around the room for like slippers. Two long sleeve shirts, a Rough Rider t-shirt. Sorry, I forgot to turn off the notifications on my phone that I'm recording on. Two pairs of pants, a comfy pant and a lined pant, just like my other son. Two jammies, Crocs, and a sweater. And then they're both going to be wearing coats and tennis shoes so that will be fine for the weekend so that's what he's bringing so this is for my almost six year old he is getting these pants these sherpa line pants that i showed in my costco haul a pair of jeans and then he is wearing a pair of like sweatpants three shirts um just kind of thin i might pack him a little more sweater material shirts but and his the team is called the rough riders they're from colorado so he's getting that t-shirt he's getting two pairs of jammies four socks and four underwear a pair of crocs because they have a pool and a pair of swim trunks, and then also, I forgot to put this down here, but he is also getting a hoodie. So that is what he is packing for um, a couple day stay weekend. So we're leaving today, which is Friday. We'll be back Sunday. So it's kind of a lot, I feel like, but I don't really know how to, actually, I'm going to take out one of these shirts. So he's only going to bring two like long sleeve t-shirts and a regular t-shirt that he'll wear over the top of his long sleeve or the top of his hoodie because we're going to a hockey rink so it's gonna be cold so that is what my six-year-old is bringing here's what i'm bringing i'm wearing these shoes they're just like leopard print knockoff converse i am bringing an outfit to work out in so um pants and a shirt here's my jammies be cool not cruel thanks ems for the awesome gift those are my jammies with leggings and then i'm bringing just like a long sleeve black shirt a sweater and another sweater I don't have any Rough Rider gear, so I won't be wearing that. I'm also bringing a pair of black leggings. I'm wearing jeans, so I'll wear these jeans all weekend. Sports bra, socks, undies. I'm actually just wearing the bra I'm going to wear all weekend. Um, and then a warm pullover. Shower shoes or flip-flops for the pool and tennis shoes because I would like to get a workout in. So that is what I am bringing for clothing. I forgot, I'm also bringing a swimsuit. And I want to show you guys before my husband closed up his um, back bag, we are also bringing our son's scooters. Um, so they can scoot around the hotel or wherever we're going, they can scoot. And then we put their helmets in with their car seats. I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but that's what we do. For this trip, we probably have room, but anyways, um, in our suitcases, but we put, we do bring their little, they're just Razor scooters that you can collapse. Okay, so now there's this jumbled mess of stuff I'm bringing. I am bringing the Josie Marin whipped argan oil face butter. This is just going to be my moisturizer for the weekend. A razor. I don't have a safety razor. I need to get one so I can stop using that. Um, Aveda thickening tonic. Aveda volumizing tonic. I figured those would just be fine. I don't really plan on like getting ready every day. I plan on wearing this hair for a few days that I already have. Hey curly hair um but I do want to work out so I don't know I might actually take a dry shampoo <coughs> yeah I'm debating whether or not I should just take a dry shampoo and not take shampoo and conditioner I'm not sure about that yet anyways I am taking this vegan lip balm deodorant face scrubber brush a headband t3 curling iron Possibly some Briogeo shampoo and Briogeo conditioner. Um, pin there, done that. Bobby pins. Vitamin C spray and toothpaste and toothbrush. So I'm definitely bringing that stuff. Oh, and a hairspray. But I don't know if I'm bringing this yet. But the most important, these are reusable makeup removers. So I'm bringing two of those. And I don't know, I think I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to bring the, I'm going to bring this instead of, it's a Kerastase KVIP volume in powder. So whatever. I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to put these away. 
Yay, less stuff to bring. And if I really need to take a shower, I'll just ask my sister-in-law who will be there if she has shampoo and conditioner. To pack up my makeup, I just have this bag I got from Victoria's Secret a while ago for my makeup and my toiletries. I'm packing um, brushes, just some, you know, various brushes, a lipstick and a lip liner, highlight, cream highlight, cream blush, this foundation from Josie Marin, Dream Street palette from ColourPop, eyeliner, setting powder, uh, mascara by It Cosmetics. This one, so most of the stuff I bring, I don't love. I do love that foundation and I actually really love that um, highlight. It's just a cream, so it's not gonna break and spill everywhere. So that's why I try to bring mostly cream products, um, <coughs> except for the eyeshadow and the Too Faced bronzer, the only two powder options I am bringing. And I do love the Dream Street palette and the bronzer is just ones I chose for my collection. I a eyelash curler. I'm not bringing any fake eyelashes. Um, oh, another cream highlight. So I'm actually gonna put this one back because I don't need two highlights. Oh. So, and then I am bringing these two. I haven't, I don't usually use these, but I figured that would be great for the trip. Pixie Glow Mist and Makeup uh, Fixing Mist. So it's like setting powder. I'm bringing the new like little Tati blending sponge. And I think that is all for makeup. I'm also going to bring a, two of these little Skylar minis. I do have the regular Skylar bottles. Um, it is a vegan and cruelty free perfume company. So, um, and it's a little more natural and I just like having perfume. So I'm going to bring two of those. I don't know which ones yet. Maybe the Kapari and oh, that's just my hand. Fresh ocean oasis. <laughs> so yep. Two little minis. It's really awesome. If you buy this little multi-pack, they give you a $20 off coupon. Um, and then you can use it towards a full size bottle. So pretty awesome. Okay. Also, I am bringing the kids multivitamins. I will bring my multivitamins as well. These are vegan. I got them on Amazon. They're also organic. I don't know if they're the best ones. This is just what we got. <coughs> I'm just bringing these. I'm not bringing all their different vitamins. This and the vitamin C spray and then my multivitamins and we should be fine. So I wanted to show you what else we bring on the plane. This wet bag has a wet bag in it. A full change of clothes for both. This is a busy bag. It has like all sorts of just silly little things they can play with on the plane. This is from my childhood. I don't even know. My mom had it, so she gave it to us. I threw it on here. I do not ever let the kids play with these unless we are on a trip. They can play with them on the plane, and they can play with them at the destination. They do not get to play with them at home ever because then they just get tired of them, and they don't want to play with them while we're out. So every time we break them out, the kids get excited. So we got a Mr. Potato Head. You do have to bring this separately. It doesn't fit in the bag. All of his gear. I just have jump rings. These from, from the dollar store. Mr. Potato Head gear. <clears throat> I have coloring. <coughs> there are some coloring pages in here. Crayons. Some stickers. I have this little like water game that they can play with. Do you remember these from when you were a child? So fun. I have these lace-up dinosaurs. Target dollar spot. I actually built this like four years ago and it's still just great. I have this. I'm actually going to take this one off because we have a whiteboard that goes with it, but I don't want to bring the whiteboard, so I'm going to take this one off. It's just like a pack of washable, wipeable markers and like a little cloth to wipe them off. A puzzle and the puzzle, like what it's going to look like. Um, these are really fun. They put them on the windows. Um, they're just like little plastic clings. These are mini trains <coughs> and this like mini train mat that I just printed off the internet and they can just pretend like they're training around. More little tiny puzzles. Um, I got these at Costco years ago. I think this is 24 piece, 24 piece. This is also a perfect thing. You bring this to the, oh, Play-Doh with its Play-Doh things. Um, these are perfect. You bring these to the restaurants when you go out of town. You bring these everywhere. They are the best. But anyways, I think I'm gonna take these out. I might switch it with a play pack. Yeah, I don't know, but I'll probably just take that one out. So I'm not bringing the whiteboard. So yeah, that is my busy bag collection. Take those markers out and I replace them with Brain Quest cards. I might even grab our match game from downstairs. I don't know, this is actually probably enough. I'm not gonna get too crazy. It's only a two hour flight. I'll probably watch a movie or two, do some busy activities, have snacks, so they'll be fine. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Some more random things we're taking. Um, I will take these on the plane with me. Veg News and how to eat plant-based, forks over knives. I'm taking my ear pods for when I work out. 
I'm taking some pull toys and goggles for the boys. I am taking pull-ups because we use pull-ups. My Both of my kids are potty trained. My oldest actually wets the bed um, quite a bit more than my youngest. Um, he usually doesn't, but... And then I'm also going to take reusable pee pads, which I have to grab. Um, wet bags. These are just really handy. These are from Cloth Diapering. A couple books. Um, I got these ones just because my son is in kindergarten and he can pretty much read these. And so he's just learning, so those are good ones for him to stand out. And then <laughs> a Dr. Seuss one we don't ever read, so I figured that would be a good one to bring. These are the pee pads we use. They're kind of like maybe like hospital grade. I don't know. Um, but they're just reusable. We are bringing these. Here's the stuff I'm bringing. This is kind of like for the weekend. I'm bringing the sweetened cherries, some pure fruit bars, go macro bars, some of these Annie's bunny snacks. These aren't just for me. Um, this organic dark chocolate minis. I'm also bringing a peanut butter and jelly, which I have, or sun butter and jelly because I don't want anyone to have any allergies. We don't have them, but you never know on planes. Um, sandwich for three. Of, I'm bringing three of them because one of our sons won't have had lunch when I pick him up from school. So I'm going to bring him a sandwich or we can grab <coughs> beans and rice or what do we find at the airport. But these are some of the snacks that we're bringing for the weekend and for the plane. We got peanut or sun butter and jelly. I just put them in this Tupperware container. It's kind of nice having these two on the go because you can put takeout in them. You can put whatever in them, snacks in them when you're traveling. And I'm also bringing wipes, like um, butt wipes, because spills happen, cleaning up the, you know, trays on the airplane, that type of thing. Um, we are just bringing disposable ones. We did cloth diaper. <clears throat> we use reusable wipes, but I'm not going to mess with all of that. Um, so yeah, that's what else we are bringing. I think that that is it. I think this is wrapping up. We did bring our cell phone chargers, our toothbrushes. So anything else, if we really need it, we could get it there. I think I already said water bottles, but yep. Here we go. This is also my PSA when you are going out of town. Make sure your compost bin, if you compost, is empty and washed out. Preferably with like the lid left on so it doesn't get funky if it has a little water still in it. Also, put all your fruit away that you aren't going to be eating. These are going in the fridge and I'm going to cut them up for smoothies when I get home. Those are going in the fridge. Take out your trash. Make sure all your toilets are flushed in the house because you don't want to come home and you had a little kid use your toilet and not flush it because it's disgusting. I haven't yet experienced that one, but I have experienced the trash. <coughs> Make sure all your appliances are off. I just made a frozen Annie's pizza. Amy's pizza? I don't know. Oven is now off. So make sure all those things are done. Make sure there's no clothes in the washer. Make sure you put that in the dryer. Uh, make sure your appropriate lights are on. So all those things. Just fair warning. Thing. If you are a cloth diapering mom, do not forget to empty out your cloth diaper pail because that is something would be scary, very scary to come home to. Okay, so I hope you guys like this day of packing and like what we're taking on our vacation. It's kind of a weird angle, but I'm gonna go with it. Also, I sliced the sandwiches because we've got little ones, they don't need a whole sandwich. It's kind of nice to just snack on. Um, we're not like a minimalist family, but we do try to like make an impact when we're doing things like flying. I know you can buy back like your it's funny, um, carbon footprint, carbon sink or something like that. We have never done that, but maybe we will sometime. I don't know. Um, <coughs> so yeah, we just try to do slight changes when we can. We don't bring tons of stuff. We've never really given our kids medication before, so we don't really bring medication. You know, we do live in America um, and we are able to go buy something if we need it. So that's kind of how I look at it. If it's something we really, really need, like if we needed medication for some reason, we could go out and buy it. <coughs> just because A, we don't have any in the house, so there would, I wouldn't go buy it just to bring it. Um, so yeah, we just bring a couple outfits. We're not like bringing everything for every different scenario, but we are bringing stuff that we think we need and things that we would use, and just a backup, like for jammies, the clothes. Um, I could have probably bought, brought one less pair of pants, but we did just start, pot we did just potty train our youngest son in November, um, over Thanksgiving weekend, so I like to have an extra for him. And then our older son, he probably didn't need that. I could probably just have brought one other pair of pants, but you know, sometimes it's good to have two, just in case, and yeah. That's what we're bringing for our trip to Boston. We're super excited. We're excited to see our family. 
and cheer on our nephew in this hockey game tournament. I don't know a lot about that. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my floating head. And I hope you guys had a great weekend too. Hopefully the next video will be me and what I'm eating. We'll see if I was that put together in Boston to film that for you guys.